Hello! Today we're looking once again at a list of underrated fantasy board games, and I'm hoping you'll find some you didn't know about in this ranking. Grab a cup of coffee or tea and enjoy! I have to announce right off the bat that here by underrated, I don't mean a game that's getting low ratings, but a game that is getting a low amount of ratings. This is an important distinction because of what it implies. It means the people who have played these games love them, but that there aren't enough votes for these games to make it to the top 100 list of Board Game Geek. This generally means the games in question have a lower chance of being found by you, the prospective player. But on the bright side, it means you might sometimes learn about a game you might like, a hidden gem. By the way, you'll probably see that I've split this list of 30 games into 3 videos, so that they're more digestible. Today, as you can see, we're looking at numbers 30 to 21. Expect the rest of the list in the days to come. Was that my introduction? <laughs> While I was babbling, we're already quite deep into the list. There are lots of games in there that I don't know myself, but what I generally do is that I cross-reference them with other recommendations. For example, I know that Solomon Kane was also recently recommended as one of the best solo games out there, so I know it's one I really want to try. Flesh and Blood has been making quite a lot of noise, in particular in the Magic the Gathering community, as one of the serious contenders against MTG. Has anyone of you played it? I'm curious to know more about this particular game. And that's it for the first part of this list. Any games in there that you felt looked interesting? For me, I would really like to grab a copy of Solomon Kane, and I'd love to know more about Flesh and Blood. Thanks for watching, and see you soon for the next part of this list.